What have you been doing? Oh, I've been walking here and there, roaming around the earth. Have you noticed how my people have been acting? They are straying from their ways in which I have instructed them, commit more and more offenses, and they seem to have no remorse for what they do. What is even worse is that they call their actions just. Well, I deserve all the credit for that. Well, I must admit, it's been very easy to convince them that all the wrong in their lives is entirely your fault. They blame you instead of me, and it is come to the point where they don't even believe I exist. Let me prove that these people of yours are not worth the trouble that you've so deemed on them. Give me at least one century to exercise the full extent of my power. All right. You have one century to do whatever it is you wish upon the world. Then I choose the 20th century. So be it.
it takes too long. Oh, let's do it the short way. All right. <laughs> in succession on the 13th day at this same hour. Then I will tell you who I am and what I want. And afterward, I will return here a seventh time. And shall I go to heaven too? Yes, you will. And Jacinta? Also. And Francisco? Also. But he will have to say many rosaries. I see her! Do you wish to offer yourselves to God? To endure all the suffering that he may please to send you? as an act of reparation for the sins by which he is offended, and to ask for the conversion of sinners? Yes, we do. Then you will have much to suffer, but the grace of God will be your comfort.
the time for stories. But we seen a lady just all in white, and she came on a cloud from heaven. What's all this about, our lady? Oh, it's true. She came on a ball of light. She said, pray the rosary every day, and that we will be going to heaven. A fine little saint indeed that our lady should appear to her. Well, if the youngsters did see a lady dressed in white, who could it be but our lady? Don't Tell me you believe all of this. From the beginning of the world, Our Lady has appeared many times in various ways. If the world is wicked, it would be much more so, but for many such happenings. The power of God is great. We don't know what this is, but it will turn out to be something. Don't you see the children for Our Lady? We can see the house is truly blessed. But we must find out all there is to know, so we won't be made for food. Oh, Lucia, I hear you have seen Our Lady at the COVID. She's from heaven. Lucia, come here, please. Did you hear about the vision? Yes, I just heard. Lucia! Don't you think it's wonderful? The Blessed Mother! You'll see how wonderful I think it is. Lucia! Yes, Mama? What is all this I hear? That you saw the Blessed Virgin in the clover today? I didn't say a thing, Mama. We saw a lovely lady in the cloud. Who else could it be? A lady in a cloud? Lucia, are you filling Jacinta's head with all this nonsense? They've never lied to us, Lydia and Osa. This was all I needed from all to think. I always taught you to speak the truth. And now you bring me a whopper like this. I'm not lying, Mom. Oh, Lucia, look what you have done. You have gone and made a deadly sin. You must go to the priest and confess yourself. I am dead. Father Manuel? Yes. My name is Maria Rosa Santos. I hope I haven't come at an inconvenient time. No, my daughter. Come in. What seems to be the problem? I don't know how quite to say this. When I think of the blasphemy... What is it? It's my youngest daughter, Lucia. She's been telling tales that she and her cousin saw the Blessed Virgin at the Cova. Did you say the Blessed Virgin? Yes. She has the whole town talking about it. Father, I've raised all my children to be truthful. And now to think that my youngest would tell something like this, I don't know what to do. As if our Holy Mother has nothing else better to do than fly around on a cloud talking to children. Where is this cova? It's my husband's land, Father. A place where we send the children to graze our sheep. Young girls have their fancies. Have you tried talking to her? Letting her realize that all this can be is a figment of her imagination. I've punished her, beat her, and even sent her to bed without any supper. But she still persists. Did she say that the Blessed Virgin would appear again? Yes, on the 13th of next month. I've already forbidden Lucia to go anywhere near the cova on that day, but she is insistent. Here's what to do. Let them go if they persist and see what happens. Then bring them to me, and I will question them. We'll get to the bottom of this.
Your Excellency told me to come here. Please say what you want of me. I want you to come here on the 13th day of the coming month, to recite five decades of the Rosary every day, and to learn to read. I will tell you later what I want. I should like to ask you to take us to heaven. Yes. Jacinta and Francisco I will take soon. But you will remain here for some time more. Jesus wishes to make use of you to have me acknowledged and loved. He wishes to establish in the world the devotion to my Immaculate Heart. I stay here? Alone? No, daughter. And do you suffer a great deal? Don't be discouraged. I will never forsake you. My Immaculate Heart will be your refuge and the road that will conduct you to God. Francisco and I are going to heaven. And she said that she wants me to go to school and learn how to read. School? Indeed. A lot it matters to Our Lady whether the likes of you can read and write. You missed our dear St. Anthony's feast to tell me such foolish nonsense? Now get to your room and I never want to hear about this lady business ever again. Tomorrow we are going to see Father Manuel and this time you're going to tell the truth.
wife to see. Ease our pains and afflictions. Sweet lady, hear our prayer. Gentle lady, we we think you are. We crown us Lucia, don't annoy me anymore. Tell the Reverend Father now that you lied so that on Sunday he can say in the church that it was all a lie. And that will be the end of the whole affair. But it wasn't a lie, Mama. Now, children, do you realize that from all you have said, people are going to the cova to pray in front of a home oak bush? If people find out that you are lying, you will be despised for all that you have done. But we are not lying, Father. Everything we said was true. Are you sure you have told me all the facts, Lucia? We promised the lady we wouldn't. Why would the Blessed Mother tell you to keep all this a secret? She certainly would want to tell me. I never said it was the Blessed Mother. All I know is that she is a beautiful lady, that she said she was from heaven. It sounds like Our Lady to me. Be quiet, Marto. All right, then. What did the lady say to you, then? I can't tell you. But when she appears again next month, I'll ask her, and if she says yes, then I will tell you. Perhaps you can tell us what else the lady said, Jacinta? Oh, yes, Father. She said Francisco and I are going to die soon, but Lucia will be here a bit longer. Going to die? Lucia, you told them that? Father, do you see what I've been telling you? Lucia didn't tell us. It was the lady. Mama, don't cry. Heaven. Stop saying that. Lucia, did you fill Jacinta and Francisco's head with all this nonsense about going to heaven and this lady on a cloud? I beg you to tell me the truth before this gets any worse. I've told you the truth. I swear it. I believe that the children saw something in the cova, but it doesn't sound like a revelation from heaven to me. It is usual in such cases for our Lord to tell the souls to whom he makes such communications to give their confessor or parish priest an account of what has happened. But this child, on the contrary, keeps it to herself as far as she can. This may also be a deceit of the devil. The devil? I will forward this information to my bishop, and until we hear from him, I don't want you to go to the cova anymore. Now take them home. Let us all pray for God to enlighten us. Good night, Father. When I was young, I felt your call, and there was nothing more I wanted. That's why I chose a life of service, because I knew I'd serve you well. I follow each and every rule, I know them all down to the letter. But now my faith in you is shaken, because these visions haunt me so. The children say that it's all true, they got the people to believe. But how can I, a man of learning, accept so blindly all they say? Is this from you, Lord? Is this from hell, Lord? Oh God, please help me. To understand If all this is true Then what is your plan? Is Our Lady a sign of hope? Or will affliction be in our grasp? Which will it be? And why should she choose children instead of me? After I've served you all these years, I shall be worthy to see her face. How can this be? So am 
I to believe the things these children tell me? Am I to believe a lady appears? Is this all a test? Are you trying to break me? Is this just to prove how loyal I am? My world is turning upside down. My head is spinning round and round. If I give consent to all these so-called visions, then the people find out it is all a fraud. I will be the one that they will put the blame on. They will make me wish I'd never been born. But if these visions turn out true, and I've said nothing, I'll lose you. I need to know, I want to know, just what am I to do now, Lord? I don't believe, I can't believe, that you would do this to me, Lord. Show me the way out of the dark, and bring me back into the light. Father Manuel, said your administrator, what brings you to... You know exactly what brings me here. What is all this I hear about a vision in the field? I assure you, it is nothing but the tales of a young girl. Nothing that needs concern, gentlemen. It does concern me. That is why I have just posted a notice on your church that it be closed until this matter is settled and you tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth, gentlemen. Why would I plot such a thing that would bring this kind of trouble to my parish? So you are saying that someone higher in authority ordered all these illusions? Your bishop, perhaps? My bishop would not risk his life, not to mention having the risk of closing one of his churches, for a story such as this. Then your bishop does not sanction these reports of a vision. You do. Can't you see that you're making all this seem real now that you've closed our church? Then why don't you tell them that they are not true? I have advised them not to go to the Kova. What else more can I do? Hasn't it been reported that the Virgin will appear here next month? I give you my word that the priests of every parish in the diocese will tell his people not to come to Fatima on that day. Well then, let me put it to you this way. If there is so much as one person there on the 13th of July, not only will your church remain closed, 
But I'll lock you away in the darkest, deepest cell where you'll never again see the light of day. It is now in your hands, Sinho. Have a nice day. Just when I had thought that I had reached the summit of all these ten problems you have placed on me, you have now decided it's just the beginning. You have forced me in a hand I shouldn't play. God, why are you torturing me? God, why are you torturing me? I need to know, I want to know what you are doing to me, Lord. I now believe, I do believe, you're doing all this to me, Lord. Oh, can't you see, I'm in the dark, with no way back into the light. because of her trickery. You can be sure of that, and I really don't know what I can do to undeceive them. You still don't believe your daughter, Maria Rosa? I don't know. It seems to me that she is nothing but a fake who is leading half the world astray. Don't say that out loud or somebody's likely to kill her. Oh, I don't care. Just as long as they force her to confess the truth. As for me, I always tell the truth, whether against my children or anybody else, or even against myself. Well, in any case, there'll be thousands at the Cova tomorrow. Father Manuel told us that every parish priest warned the people to stay home so that our church can be opened again. And still they come. Has the whole country gone crazy? Perhaps the Holy Mother wants it this way. That I will never believe. And neither does Lucia. She will not stir out of the house tomorrow. No, Uncle Manuel. I think you're making a great mistake. It's all women's tales, Marto. Father Manuel said that the children shouldn't go. I don't care what the priest said! I believe what they tell me! Can't you see what you're doing to the child? She'll get over it. At least we'll have our church reopened. Do what you want! My children and I go to the Cova tomorrow!
Let's go, Lucia. It's almost time to see our lady. I'm not going. Why? I've been thinking maybe what Father Manuel said is true. Maybe it is the devil. How can you think it was the devil? Didn't you see our lady and our Lord in that great light? And how can we go without you if you are the one who has to talk? I'm not going. Well, I'm going. And so am I because that lady told us to. Don't you see it can't be the devil? God is already so sad over so many sins. And now if you don't go, he will be sadder. I tell you, I'm not going. Lucia, who ever heard of the devil asking people to pray? I'm going. My family and I came all the way from Algava. I was told that the Blessed Virgin could heal my son. It's nothing but a hoax. Can't you see that? Please, go home. I warned you, priest. Now you'll pay for your stubbornness. Senor, we did all we could to prevent this. I'm not interested in your pathetic excuses. Arrest him! I want you to come here on the 13th day of the coming month and to continue to say five decades of the rosary every day in honor of Our Lady of the Rosary to obtain peace for the world and the end of the war, for she alone will be able to help. I wish to ask you to tell us who you are and to perform a miracle so that everyone will believe that you have appeared to us. Continue to come here every month. In October, I will tell you who I am and what I wish and will perform a miracle that everyone will have to believe. Sacrifice yourselves for sinners, and say many times, especially when you make some sacrifice, O oh Jesus, it is for your love, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary.
I will tell you, many souls will be saved and there will be peace. The war is going to end. But if they do not stop offending God, another and worse one will begin in the reign of Pius XI. When you shall see a knight illuminated by an unknown light, know that it is the great sign that God gives you that he is going to punish the world for its crimes by means of war, hunger, and of persecution of the Church and of the Holy Father. To prevent this, I come to ask the consecration of Russia to my Immaculate Heart and the communion of reparation on the first Saturdays. If they listen to my requests, Russia will be converted and there will be peace. If not, she will scatter her error through the world, provoking wars and persecutions of the Church. The good will be martyred, the Holy Father will have much to suffer, various nations will be annihilated. In the end, my Immaculate Heart will triumph. The Holy Father will consecrate Russia to me, and it will be converted, and a certain period of peace will be granted to the world. In Portugal, the dogma of the faith will always be kept. Tell this to no one. Francisco, yes, you may tell him. When you say the rosary, say after each mystery, O oh my Jesus, pardon us and deliver us from the fires of hell. Draw all souls into heaven, especially those most in need. Do you want nothing more of me? No, today I want nothing more of thee. What did she look like? What did she say? Why do you look so sad? Is it the Blessed Virgin? Will she come again? It's a secret. It's a secret. Good or bad? Good for some, for others bad. And you won't tell us? No, sir. It's a secret and the lady told us not to tell it. It's a secret. It's a secret. I'm glad you are all here together. I have something here for you. It's from the administrator. He wants to question the children. There's no sense in taking such young children before a court of that kind. Besides, it's three leagues away, and that's too far for them to walk. And they don't know how to ride a beast. I'm not going to do it. And I'll go over and tell the administrator why. If Lucia is lying, it would be a good thing for her to be taught a lesson. If they are telling the truth, then Our Lady will take care of them. I expect to have to suffer more for thy love, O oh my God, and it is for the conversion of sinners. We will go, right? We're with you, Lucia. And so will be Our Lady. I will be happy to take them myself. We must be back before twelve so we can go to the cova. Our Lady comes today. Lucia, how dare you say such things to our beloved prior? No harm done. You will be back here in plenty of time. to appear to us here. Our Lady must be sad because we didn't go to the Kova and she won't appear to us anymore. Will she? I don't know. I think she will. Oh, I want to see her so much. <laughs> Why are you crying? Because we are going to die without seeing our parents again. I want to see my mother. <laughs> if we never see our mother again, patience, let us offer it for the conversion of sinners. The worst will be if Our Lady never comes back anymore. That's what bothers me. But I'm going to offer that too, for the conversion of sinners. The easiest way for you to get out would be to tell the administrator the secret, since he wants to know it so much. But Our Lady doesn't want us to tell it. What is it to you whether the Lady likes it or not? I would rather die. <laughs> Jacinta, what's the matter? I can't help thinking about my mother.
me. They say that the lady appeared to you last year also. What is true about this? She never appeared to me last year or before May of this year, nor have I said so to anyone, for it was not true. Did she show herself desirous that many persons should be there on the 13th day of each month during the apparitions at the Kova? She said nothing about that. Did she say this only to you or to your companions? To all three. The lady commanded you to learn to read? Yes, the second time she appeared. But if she said that she would take you to heaven in the month of October, what good would it be for you to learn to read? That is not true. The lady never said that she would take me to heaven in October, and I never said that she had told me such a thing. Can't you reveal the secret? No. Why? Because the lady said we are not to tell the secret to anyone. If the crowd knew the secret, would they be sad? Yes, they would. How old are you? I am nine years old. Did you only see Our Lady, or did you also hear what she said? I only saw her. I heard nothing of what she said. Was there some light around her head? Yes, there was. Could you see her face well? I could see, but only a little, because of the light. Were there some ornaments on her dress? There are some edgings of gold. Of what color is the crucifix? It's white. And the color of the rosary? That's also white. Would the crowd be sad if they knew the secret? They would. What did the lady say she would do to make the crowd believe she had appeared? She said she was going to perform a miracle. Aren't you afraid that the crowd will do some harm if nothing extraordinary happens on that day? I haven't any fear. If this miracle happens, will you then reveal the secret? I only if our lady tells us to. Enough! We have tried to save you, but since you will not obey the government, you shall be boiled alive in a cauldron of hot oil. Is the oil good and hot? Yes, senor administrator. Boiling? Sim, senor. Vamos! Take this one and throw her in! What do we care if they kill us? We'll go right to heaven. She's fried. Now for the next one. It'll be you next. You'd better tell me the secret, Lucia. I would rather die. Very well. You shall. We tried, said your administrator. Well, what do you propose? Let the children go. No, not until they have confessed. Fiction. The tale depends on miracles happening. There will be none, none of this will blow up in their faces. Let the children go and also their priest father Manuel. Do you think I'm crazy? But you will see that this must be. For when the public sees there's no miracle, it will expose the children as liars. Their people's face will turn to their government. Like when I hear it, when the people riot We will control all the people once again Religion will die, and they will just believe in us For religion is nothing but a deadly poison It serves no purpose in a modern world It caves to the weak, and tries to nullify the strong So I let them go, and continue with the comedy And when it is over, they will know their failure Religion will be dead, and people will believe in us
want to tell you to have them build a chapel here in my honor. I am the Lady of the Rosary. Let them continue to say the rosary every day. The war is going to end, and the soldiers will soon return to their homes. I have many things to ask of you. The cure of some sick persons, the conversion of some sinners. Some yes, others no. It is necessary that they amend their lives and ask pardon for their sins. Let them offend our Lord God no more, for he is already much offended. phenomenon.